Hello, welcome to More Than Organized Monday, and I'm Miriam. Today we're going to be talking about email again. We're going to talk about how to be a responsible subscriber and subscriber to all the things you um, end up with in your inbox. Um, many of my clients complain and complain and complain about all this stuff they get in their email, but they haven't quite put together that they might be somewhat responsible for, for some of it. So I want to go over some best practices for dealing with subscriptions and mail that you get because you actually filled out a form somewhere. Um, I love to keep a squeaky clean inbox. And that means being really aware of your own role in what, what does arrive in that inbox in the first place. And how to choose what's best to get in there. So think about this. Every time you order something, fill out a form with your name, address, and email, you are agreeing to let those people send you email. And the way online marketing works, if you give your email address, anyone in that company can use that for marketing their aspect of that company. So sometimes it seems like it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but let's just use, if you sign up for the more than organized newsletter or, or download my one minute mail solution kit, you have to fill out a form with your name and email. And then you've given me permission to send you information about my business. Now, you may want the actual learning stuff with the one minute mail solution, and that's great. You get that and then you can un unsubscribe. But there will be several emails that follow up how to download it, where to find it, where to find the next step. In that particular case, there is a series of emails that take you deeper into the material after that, and then they stop. But what happens is you also end up with um your name on my email list, which is pretty much a once a week information article or um, link to an interview I've done or a video. Um, and sometimes some imagine this, if you will, scenarios, um, but it's weekly. And then because I am in business and I'm in business to make money while helping you out, you also receive offers, right? So think of it as kind of three layers of information you get from me, the actual learning stuff you wanted from me, the regular tips and tricks I share, and then opportunities to work with me. And if you carry that out to all the different emails you've ever subscribed to, that can be a whole lot of emails. And sometimes they're accidental. You didn't realize you were getting more than what you wanted. So there's some steps we can take to start eliminating these excesses out of your inbox. Um, and so the first thing is just be aware that filling out those forms in the first place. So really do a double think. Is this something that's really going to come in useful in the next couple weeks? Or is this something that may be farther down the line and I can wait to sign up for it, right? So think about that. Um, and then... Think about who you do business with. Which companies do you actually do business with? If you know that you have your email listed with all the places you pay bills and all the places you visit frequently, then you expect that they will send you offers and deals and coupons and maybe some learning and maybe some good tips and tricks along with the fact that you shared your email to get that ticket, that offer, that coupon in the past, right? So first of all, anything you don't know who it is because you've never done business with them, you can just junk that stuff. I don't bother to unsubscribe to that stuff because you never know when it might be actual scam junk. Um, and so it's easier to just mark it as junk and then you don't see it. And you don't have to pay attention to it. If it is companies that you have done business with or ordered something from, and you just don't want to receive all the extra information, you can always go to the unsubscribe within the email. So some of the email service providers or readers have a thing that you can um, unsubscribe to newsletters, or there's a couple apps that'll help you unsubscribe to newsletters. Those are fine, but I have found they don't work 
as well um, or as quickly as just unsubscribing to the ones you know you accidentally signed up for or you wanted the one thing but not everything from that company. That way you can adjust if you still want to get occasional things. Um, places I regularly order things from, I kind of digest down to once a month or once a week emails, depending on which one it is. Um, but if I'm doing some learning with a coach or another service provider and I need some information in the beginning, I don't necessarily need to follow them forever via email. I know where to find them on social media or at their website. So you have control and just do a few a day until it, it um, stops or greatly reduces. Um, there is a weird phenomenon, and I think it's because people sell their the, your data to other places, that sometimes when you start unsubscribing, you get this new flurry of places you've never heard about before. Um, but it's just part of doing business on the internet. Think of it that way. It's like ads in a magazine. You can choose to just ignore them, and you can choose to rip some of them out <laughs> um, and send them on their way. So keep that in mind. It is a bit of a proactive approach that you need to take um, to get these things out of the way, but it's well worth the time to just feel in control and understanding what's going on with your email. Um, yeah, so that's what I have to say about email and being a subscriber and subscriber. If you are ever at all hesitant to just unsubscribe because you're not positive it's the company you thought it was, by all means, just mark it as junk and move on. Um, and don't be afraid to sign up for things that you are seeking. Um, just know that you can unsubscribe almost instantly. If you want that one report or that one PDF or that cool infographic or that one video about whatever, just go back in and unsubscribe after you've digested the information you wanted. Okay. So work on that this week and I will see you next week. Don't forget to subscribe to my stuff. Tell all your friends, follow, like, comment, and turn on the notifications so you know exactly when I'm sending you great information in your inbox um, or in your notifications and enjoy your week. In the meantime, have a delightful day.